Welcome back to Expeditions, a Mud Runner game. In this episode, I'm going to be trying to complete the first five training missions on Little Colorado so we can look at moving forward from there. With me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, our continuation of looking at Expeditions, a Mud Runner game from my first episode, which is my first impressions. We had a look at some of the menus, some of the start tutorials. Um, it's a kind of linear process when you start a new game like this. You could jump in, switch off a lot of the options, um, and just crack on. It's kind of the equivalent to throwing away an instruction book, you know, and just go for it. If you want to do that, you absolutely can. As you can see now, we've got continue, we've got new game or load game. Before it was just new game because I hadn't done anything on it. The other thing I was going to mention was I've had time to organise my thoughts between doing the first, well actually technically the second video, but anyway, my first impressions video and this one. Um, I mentioned it briefly and I kind of had a look. Something missing, a big thing missing. There's no camera mode. On SnowRunner, there, there was the camera mode. You could go in, you could change all the aperture settings, and you could get a really nice screenshot thumbnail. Or it might just be a picture you wanted to take for yourself because you've done something cool. It looks fantastic. Now, there may be. I can't find one. Um, I don't think there is. Maybe that will come soon. Maybe that will be an addition that comes. Um, the other thing I was going to mention was... If you get the um, Supreme Edition, I believe, and I didn't mention this on the previous videos, you do get the Year 1 Season Pass, you do get the extra stuff. We go down to our DLC store, I mentioned this. So you get the Year 1 Season Pass. The Pioneer Pack um, is those, you get extra versions of those four vehicles. The Cotco Canyon, you get the Great Don Cosmetic for the Great Don 71, or the Don 71, but you also get, if you buy the Supreme in pre-order, um, I think you get early access 96 hours earlier than the release of the 5th, um, as far as I'm aware. I read that on the um, the Focus um, website. Anyway, so I'm going to go on to continue. We'll load this up. So I'm going to start on the next mission. Um, I, like I say, when I was recording, because you're recording for the first time and you're playing the game for the first time and you've got all these different menus, all these different options, all these different things, it's kind of a bit of a sensory overload. So when you stop playing, your, your brain has time to process everything you've just done. Then when I came to edit it, of course, that then you, you start looking at stuff in a bit more, a bit more depth. So these two we are going to go on to, but we're going to go on to... The little Colorado. We're going to do the next one, which is nearby uh, nearby areas. I think once we've done all five, it will un unlock free roam. We can have a wander around. This one requires a metal detector. So if we click on that, we then go into the options for choosing our truck. Now, because there'll be certain things, Farm Dog loves it. Um, there'll be certain things you require, the metal detector for one. So when you pick your vehicle, you need to pick a vehicle, at least to start off with, that's got the exclamation mark, because those are the things that will give you the options. If you pick the wrong vehicle, you can't pick the required device that goes with it. So if we click on here, and we've got our truck store, the trucks that we own. So as I was saying, we have got the Tuz 16 Action, but if you've got the um, additional pack, you get the SE versions of each one, which I've already done that one up. But we do need a scalp because it needs the device. So we could go for the load star. We could go for that. Was that? Oh, brilliant. Okay. It saved it. I wasn't sure if it had done. I came back out the menu and it said it would reset everything. And I suddenly thought my money's gone down a lot. I have already done some changes to that. So I've made some changes already. Uh, inventory. I am going to put a couple of those and one of those on. That's that. We've got no option for bed because we haven't got a bed on the back of it. We haven't got a rack. Um, but that's all we're going to need for the time being because the metal detector's on the roof. We've got that already. So we're good to go. And deploy. Now, this is the other thing I said. On this first one, I wasn't sure if you could deploy to different locations. And on the first video, we only had this one open. When we completed the first mission, what it did was unlocked the eastern deployment. So I can click on that there, so you can deploy to different locations. In essence, it's giving you multiple garage locations, really. Um, so eastern outpost, field operation base. So let's start our expedition, and we'll go from here and see what occurs. 
Now again, there was no time, although is it either getting light in the morning or it's getting dark? It's hard to tell. Got these other things well. Um, are lights on automatically in the dark? Because if I go R1, we've got our handbrake, we've got our all-wheel drive and our diff lock. There was nothing showing. If we go L1. Nothing for lights. I've just realised as well. We've got our manual adjustment of our gears. But I'll leave it on auto. Don't know if the lights are automatic. I assume so. So, use a metal detector in the specified area. So, let's... Oh, handbrake again. Wrong buttons. Ah. So building modules, let's have a quick look on this. Magic machine, was that one of the ones, was that the DLC? I think I, uh, one mod I downloaded. Essential storage, so we got the prices, what these cost. Um, I haven't got enough money for those. But at the new base areas, that's when you can start building your various different sections. So we've got our storage and there'll be garage locations. We have got some at the other places as well. I'll tell you what, let's check the map. Where are the specified areas? This is... <laughs> this is... I, I've found already just for the first few missions we've done. This is going to be a harder proposition than SnowRunner. Because we're so far down the line with SnowRunner. I'm just looking at the route. If there's another way we can go. Hmm. You know what? Recovery. It says free. So let's do it. Right. So we should have gone from there, that's right. Okay, if the indicators on the metal detector turn white, it means that there are objects to search within a range of 200 meters. The metal detector gives you information about the location and range of objects. Red resources, blue items, and green are upgrades. So, if we click OK, that'll be the lights. Oh, okay, on the top, there you go. So we've now got that added in, so we've got it. And we've got the actual module areas as well. We can add more modules in here when we've got more money, which we don't have at the moment. So, find upgrades. Green signal, find up items. Blue signal, find resources. Red signal. So I guess, do we just take a drone up? Or do we just allow for the... Um, I mean, I'm assuming we're going to the right ones. Check the map again. I need to head out to these areas where the question marks are. Like I said, it's that thing of, you know, when you're that sort of sensory overload, all these different things, all this information being sort of thrown at you. Do I want to put the, um, let's put all the time on just to make life a little bit easier. I'm racking my brains now, trying to think of lights. Just put down the, oh, there we go. Brilliant stuff. Let's just press down on R3. It's interesting, it doesn't show you that as an option. It doesn't mention it anywhere. There you go, there's our lights, R3, on and off. Brilliant, found them. I wonder if we chuck the drone up, whether or not the drone... Well, there we go. So on the first episode, that didn't happen. I did say I wondered whether or not you'd have the same situation like SnowRunner. You would get damage and stuff as you go. How we're looking... Oh, I've missed completely. Could be up on that little mesa. Is it mesa, isn't it? So we should be in the search area now. There we go. Get up there. This is, um, I am. 
I'm wondering, you know. We're going to be using anchors and things a lot more, aren't we? Discover new airdrop. What is it? Oh, fuel, okay. That's curious. Oh, okay. Find resources red signal is already ticked. Did we get, it didn't really... It's gone from up the top, so we just head to those other areas. It was flashing white, wasn't it? Was it flashing white? No, that's from behind. It's interesting. It didn't really give much indication. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's skip time. L3. There we go. That's better. This is a cool bit of kit. The thing is, as far as videos go, it's going to take, you know, because you're running through the, the sort of scenarios, you might only get two or three scenarios per episode, you know? It's that thing if you, you know, if you live streamed, you could live stream for hours and hours and just play right through, I guess. Okay, in the area. I'm keeping an eye to the top. Is it beeping or anything? Nothing's changed on there. Nothing's gone from the other side. There's not like an audible. I'm trying to listen for beeping or anything like that. That would help. <laughs> it wasn't even turned on. Oh, is that, a, is that that marker up there? Is that where that's placed? Potentially. It's head up there. I don't know why I'm reversing. But. There we go. So it's green signal left. What we've got over here. There seem to be a lot of these airdrops. Now, obviously, that's the thing I want to sort of probably reiterate is um, this is the training map. I'm not sure. Again, I haven't been on there yet. This is this is my first time playing through all of this. This is all new, all of it to me. Um, I could have come on and I could have played through a load and then come back out. I could have deleted all my saves and then played it and acted like I knew everything. I knew what I, you know. Everybody's going to start somewhere. I'm sure some people will do that, and videos will come out of these professionals who all know what they're doing right from the start. Um, but I'm doing it in layman's terms. This is what people do. This this is how people are playing it. There was something I was going to say then, and it's gone off me head. So, when you head to that location, and then we'll put the detector on again, head to the green. So that's what the markers are showing us. Now I don't know, I'm curious to see whether or not these markers on the ground will show up before we turn the metal detector on or after, because the, the red one we just seem to pick up straight away. But this will certainly guide us in the right direction. So I'm thinking that, oh that's what I was going to say, I don't know when we start on the new maps whether we'll have any of the equipment or whether that stuff we'll have to buy, whether it's on here to show us how to use it because this is the training scenarios or whether or not we um, we will start on Arizona or Carpathians and we won't have any of this equipment or whether or not we will start with it all but it will just need upgrading but that's what we're going to see in either this episode or future I'm thinking future episodes like I say hopefully they're going to fall quite quickly after each other so what we'll do is turn that on again what direction is it showing me for the green over there I think I wonder. 
Let's um, do that. Let's do that. And that. So where are we? There we go. So it is showing on the ground there. And I say I'm not sure whether or not these markers would be showing normally. But you can turn them off as well if you find that's too easy. But you can always shut the drone up. The drone up. I guess that will um, make life a little bit easier. This is a brilliant tool to have. The drone is absolutely fantastic. Anyway, put that away. My all-wheel drive turned off. Showing it this on at all. Can we get through that gap? Yeah. Okay, we're done. Recover the truck less than two times. Brilliant stuff, we get a bonus. We'll take that. It's interesting that box wasn't extended because it says two headquarters. Us. Wouldn't you have had the two above and then headquarters below? I don't know. Just, <laughs> just, just a minor thing. Let's go back to headquarters and see what it says. That's that one done anyway. We could have continued, and when we get to open all areas kind of thing, we will carry on. Yeah, 10,200, so our money has gone up. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to jump onto Arizona because I'm curious here. Wow, okay. So. All of these different companies, all the different corporations are the ones that will give you jobs. So I guess a little bit like SnowRunner, um, and they will fund your starting jobs, but they're all locked. Sonoran Desert. That's curious then. Free Roam is locked, and they all seem to be locked. Are any of them open at all? Doesn't look like it. So it may be, although we have unlocked the maps, we can't actually do any of these until we complete other jobs first. And each of the missions you do will unlock, uh, unlock different things, whether it be operators, whether it's specialists, whether it's Jaegers, logisticians, light beacons, various different things. So, yeah, it's looking like... Um, Whilst we can come on here, we can't actually do a mission yet. So potentially then we do have to finish this off. That's, it. that's curious, isn't it, that's done that? You'd think it would have left those blank until you'd done all five expeditions, then done it. Unless, again, I'm missing something obvious because I'm doing this as we go. Okay. This is curious. Oh, there we go. I was just saying, they're all... They're all locked. Stone Ford, heavy shipping, earth vibes. So, jack screw and anchor, we can do that. Doesn't say a particular vehicle. So we do have vehicles available already that we can utilise. We can use any of these. And I think our SC, we kind of already set up to do this sort of thing. But I'm just thinking in the interest of using something different. Although, money-wise, I'd have to spend a bit more money doing them up. Unless I just go with it standard configuration. Should we go with the Don SC? Should we give that a go? Inventory, we need two of those and one of those, is what it says. Okay, let's deploy. Oh, we're going to get caught out again. It keeps showing us the eastern deployment. I'm going to deploy here. Hmm. Well, let's try there and see what it says. I want to get these five done and at least move on to the next one. That's the plan. Yeah, it's showing the marker over there again. Why is it doing that? Yeah, over there. That's curious. The other thing I was going to say was, I was going to test whether or not throwing up the drone will extend the map. Oh, no flight zone. That's something a bit different. Let's go back to here then. Field operations base, recovery. Oh, there we go. Uh, R1, I'm getting used to taking the... Uh... Oh, this is something a bit different, isn't it? 
So this is part of the Pioneer Pack for the SE. If you overturn, then open the inventory where you'll be where you will find a jack screw and use to put your car back on its wheels. This item has a limited number of charges and only works if the truck is overturned. So I don't know whether or not we can we can still Why do you want to do that now? It says can't be used from the inventory. That was weird. It told me to do that. Okay, right. Yeah, I don't know whether or not we can use the winch to right ourselves. Because we haven't got autonomous winch yet, so I suppose if we go over and the engine stalls, then we can't, can we really? Let's see how this goes. Okay, so it's just stage complete. Get to the swamp. Right, we're going the long way around. Let's hoon, if we can. Do we have... Okay. Are they assuming we are going to roll over the fact we have to have jack screws and he gave us a bit of information? I'm a bit concerned that that is the case. Stage complete. Oh, that looks a bit... Looks a bit fruity, isn't it? Now, do we have it available? Echo sounder. Mm, stick in yellow. <laughs> do I just not take the chance and go around the outside? I think that would be... Run away! <laughs> we have got the Echo Sander, it will work, but you know what? Got some interesting engine sound. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Don't think we can get over there from here, can we? Just looking at the rocky bit over there. I think we're going to have to go through the water and up the ramp. Can we get around? Hmm. Maybe not. I think this is designed specifically to make sure you do roll over at some point. <laughs> no. That's the last thing you need. We'll go that way because that was looking more greeny yellow. Oh, that seems quite deep. We are losing engine as we go. That's scary. This is not going well. No winch points. We're going to kill our engine at this rate. Come on, keep going. Yep. I should have put a snorkel on it. Come on, get us out of here. Get us out. Oh no. Okay. If you want to use a winch but there's no convenient play, point to connect it, use the anchor. The anchor can be placed on a on non-stony ground, so directly opposite. So this is where we get to try out this new this newfangled device. Let's do that, that, inventory, anchor. Okay, so it gives us a point we can place it. Oh not too far ahead of us though. Right, so we have to drive forward a little bit. I was wondering when, there would, this would, when this would come into play. Oh, I don't like the look of that at all. This is going to be horrible, isn't it? <laughs> no, so you keep pressing the wrong buttons. So used to the other one. Let me place it there. Am I supposed to... Oh, hang on. Okay, right. Winch connected. <laughs> this is going to be bad. I 
don't think that's going to make any difference. How are we supposed to get over there? So we are properly stuck. Come on. We're not going anywhere. Hmm. What if I get a run up? <laughs> this is going to go badly. Oh, really badly. A different angle, maybe? Oh, we so that. There we go. Right, now what we can do. It's the menu. I'm so used to going up on the D pad. Uh, so, how would we winch before? Devices. Winch. I go to the back of the vehicle. So, I pick my winch point and go to the back there. And then hook up to that. We should be able to pull from the back. So, let's winch it. From the back of the vehicle, there we go. Attach the winch. Can we collect that back up or is that gone now? Our anchor. I actually don't know. Uh, cannot be returned to the inventory. So we get five when you place one, so that's gone. We can't get that back. Really? Oh, okay. Stone forward. Don't flip the car. We didn't flip the car. Let's get a reward. That's another one done. Continue back to headquarters and we shall continue. Right. Let's see if we can get another one done. So that's that one done. Heavy shipping. One of our forwarders is stuck in a swamp. So we'll have to deploy it and evacuate the truck. This is a heavy truck, so you'll need a powerful vehicle to pull it out. Take it to the outpost. So take this into account when planning to deploy. Okay. I guess we'll just crack on. Uh, we need something big. Do we have something big? I suppose the step might be the, well, the same thing we've got without buying something else. Off-road. Let's pick that. I don't think I've got any ability to change anything there. If I customise it, I mean, maybe... How's the engine looking? Oh, we have got another... We've got an engine upgrade. Have we got enough money to do that? We could do. I think that might not be a bad idea. Heavily modernised engine variant, tuned for better strength as well as increased power at cost of fuel efficiency. Let's do it. And then we'll sell that one back. Made a little bit of money back on that. Gearbox. High range, do I want that? No, we'll leave it as it is at the moment, stock. Decent performance, strength and fuel efficiency. Yep. Suspension, I think, is going to be stock. Oh, we've got a lift kit. Oh. Do we want a lift kit? Spend all my money. Why not? Get rid of the stock kit. Right, so tyres. We've got nothing under mud. Okay. I'm going to go for those. And take that off. Winch. We've got a stock winch. Oh no, we've got an extended. That's alright. We've got on that. Just leave those as they are. Diff lock engageable. I'm going to put a snorkel on. Twin snorkels. Thank you very much. Do I want to change anything else? I don't know really. Because we are going to, yeah, we're spending way too much money. I think I just need to get this done. Frame modules, seismic vibrator, flatbed, modern, so modern, modular platform, Kung, small Kung, nothing shown there, sideboard, fuel tank, workshop, no. So we'll just use our winch, I guess. Emergency reserves, medium. I think I'll get that. We'll raise it a bit. What about 
the colours. I think we'll scroll down, see if we've got any fancy ones, and then we'll leave it there. Uh, okay, right. Deploy. Why does it keep deploying me there? Stop it. <laughs> Stop deploying me there. Have I changed my base? Oh, hang on, though. Is that the marker? Maybe we do need to deploy there. Where are we heading? Over there. Can I just reverse down this? We're about to find out. Have we got all drive? That. Oh, that looks a bit... Hmm. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's an easy way down here, does it? We're going to do some serious damage, aren't we? Yep. That's what we need to get down to, so... Like turning at the moment. Come on, uh, lights. Let's get down there. I don't know where we've got to recover it to yet. Maybe it said, but I didn't read it. Let's go. Come on. I want to get all these done. So the other thing as well is going to be a lot of this, which is an advantage over Snow Runner is plotting your route because a lot of time you're kind of going in blind you can check on the map if we go to the map we can kind of have a look and even the bits you can see here that we haven't uncovered yet you can kind of see a route but it's kind it's a bit plain it's a bit ordinary you can't really tell from there so i guess the point behind that being that once you do i'm going to keep pressing the wrong buttons aren't i um if we do go to the drone you have got a lot more ability to really check out the route as you're going. And the other thing I didn't check was how high can the drone go? On the first video, I think that, that's my ceiling at the moment, height 30. But again, that could be something that when you get drone improvements, I think if you get um, operators, you get a drone operator, I think that might increase your distance and it might increase your, your height and that kind of stuff. Um, again, this is early days. I'm, I'm sure we're going to find out. I'm not sure how we're going to get this back out of here. Because these are pretty horrendously rocky. Oh, don't. There we go. Well, I hope I haven't got to take it too far. <laughs> Let's do note again. Wrong option. Low and that on. I know I keep referring back to Snowrunner, but that's the frame of reference. And again, it's interesting, and I've said this a lot on Snowrunner recently, that how far you come in the game and have come in the game and with mods available as well you forget how difficult it is when you start off without fantastic extra tire choices and all that kind of stuff let's go back to that and then to that turn it on the engine of winched truck so again snow runner-esque oh we haven't got to take it all the way back up there are you kidding me Maybe I just came the wrong route, didn't I? Uh, so, engine that there. Let's turn that way. Let's see if we can get out. Oh, it's not liking that at all. Come on, let's get up there. Oh, 
get up there. This does not turn well either. Blimey, it's tight. Might have to skip time. We are down in the valley at the, at the moment, I get that, but... I don't know if we're going to get that out, but... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, pretty sure that's not how it's supposed to be. Come on, get back on your wheels. Oh, you're joking me. You're joking. Oh, you've got to be kidding. I think I'm going to have to winch that back onto his wheels, aren't I? That's not going anywhere. No. Not doing too bad with fuel at the moment. I'm not going to go back up that way. If I can get it back on his wheels, I'll go back round again. I'll skip that bit and we'll get it hooked up. See if we can't get this out, but... Follow me. This is proper boggy. Don't know what we've hit. We've hit something. Okay, winch. Let's go from there to there. We can, brilliant. Okay, back on its wheels, disconnects. I was looking for my camera, uh, like I said about taking thumbnails and that kind of thing, a screenshot photo mode. Um, if I press on my options, that's come up. Now that's where it used to be. If you press your options, you would have an option on there for it, but there's nothing showing. When we turn to headquarters, main menu, settings, all that kind of stuff. And the codex is in here as well, so if you need quick access to the codex, just press back. Anyway, I just thought I'd point that out. Do. Let's just do that for a second. I've got to get it back up there. How? Is there a, a more of a slope? There really isn't. So a slope up this side? Oh, hang on. 
Yeah. We've got to drive all the way around here. So I came straight down the silly way, really. So from where we are now, it's still a bit of a drive, though. there we are getting to grips with the fundamentals was that all it paid <laughs> let's get our reward back to headquarters which means leaves this one I'm just thinking time wise have I got enough time to get this one done in this episode and then hopefully that will unlock something on Arizona. I, I'm hoping that's what's going to happen. So, final one. Earthy vibes. We need to conduct a seismic survey of the surrounding area. So you'll need a heavy truck with a seismic vibrator installed. Equipment like this greatly increases the weight of the truck. So make sure you purchase all the necessary upgrades. So, that's all we need to do. Click on that. Click on that. The one we were just using. Oh no, we used that one, didn't we? Did we? Which one did we just upgrade? It was that one. So, we'll click on that. We need... Customize. It'll be under frame modules. We need that. And that's all we need, isn't it? I'm going to say that's all we need. I'll tell you what we'll do, though. We'll put one of those, one of those, just in case. <laughs> Do I need another jack screw? Hmm. No, we'll leave it like that. Come out of there, deploy. Oh, let's put them here again. Well, that is showing the marker there. Oh, that's what I was saying, wasn't I? About distance. I'm assuming the distance from where we are is the drone distance. I was saying, if you throw the drone up, if you get the drone far enough out, does that unlock the map, or is it just you driving that will unlock it? Still got these two areas to look at, actually. That was from the previous one with the drone. Start expedition, right. I am going to go into here. We are going to skip time. That didn't do anything. Back into there, skip time. It probably goes in six hour chunks, does it? Maybe. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, so I haven't got to keep going into that menu. R1, and I can go R1 triangle and then R1 square. But if I do uh, R2. Did it. There you go. So, square, not square. Cross, handbrake, triangle. Oh, that's a winch, isn't it? So maybe that was just the engine for turning it on the first time. That's all right. So I know I can do the handbrake just by pressing X now. I think we're going to need to put that into that. So it started us off on a rock. Oh, we're stuck on it. Oh no, I've got the winch attached. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Don't worry, sometimes I know what to do. Let's do it. Ho, 
hopefully this won't be too lengthy a process. It's used in geological expeditions, it shows the distance to points in the upper right of the screen. You determine the direction yourself. At a distance of less than 150 metres from the point, a sound signal is activated. After approaching the point less than 10 metres, a sound signal decreases and the command appears to start scanning. So, does that say 67.3 metres? Explore the area. So what will happen is, if we get closer, that distance will decrease. If we get further away, 61, 60, so it is decreasing. 54. We can have a look at the map. So it's not actually giving us a location. And, uh, again, we'll give it a go. I'm curious. No flight zone, okay, so it's not letting me. I'm assuming we're going to go down that way. Potentially up that way, but we'll see a return now. 40, 38, 37 is dropping, so we are heading hopefully in the right direction. 37, 38, 39, okay. Maybe not then. It's up that way. Well, we'll find out if we head that way now. Twenty-one. Yeah, there we go. Twenty, eighteen, sixteen, fifteen. Start seismic vibration. Three hundred and seven point three meters to the next one. Let's drive forward and see if it gets higher. Three six, three five, two nine. Okay, we are dropping. Two eight, two eight seven. It's looking a little bit naughty. Oh no, please don't let it start. Please don't let it start. That's behind us. Do not want to roll this over. What are we stuck on? There's got to be a rock or something there. got a bit of movement then, didn't we? No, we're probably stuck. Oh, that's not good. It's not liking it. wiggling of the steering wheel, a little bit of diff lock, low range, I mean it doesn't look particularly good at the moment and it just, it shook this, I don't know how, I don't know why, but I'll take it, <laughs> let's get the winch, let's continue what we're saying, 216, 214, 212, oh hang on, oh sorry there's a ramp here, oh come on, I'm not going down a rock face, that being said, that doesn't look too great does it? Hmm. Let's put that back. Oh no, that is. <laughs> I say they look like a ramp. That's not a ramp. I wonder if we go up around the top. Let's try 
far this way. Game feather white. Just open the ramp. Just trying to find a better way down. Two hundred. Oh no, we're coming down. That's right. Maybe we're going the right way. Oh crap! I hope there's not too many points to get to. Oh, lordy! This sandy stuff is really de deceptive because on the surface it looks quite dry, but you can see the damp patches. Oh, this is horrendous. What is that on those signs? I might still be going the wrong way. If I do go the wrong way, I'm in real trouble. There's no fly zone, really? Off to the left looks a bit better. I don't know if I'm... I'm just hoping here. What are those? Yep, let's go that way. Seem to be getting stuck on. Oh, is it the rear bumper? Oh no! Let's go a bit more power. Bounce off that if we can. What am I hitting? Nothing. We're wedged solid. It's got to be that rear bar, isn't it? There we go. Yep. A ramp <laughs> to some degree. Just destroy the seismic equipment. One oh four, one oh one. 98, 95, 91, we're heading the right way. Oh, just destroying everything as we go. I did too. That was it. Let's get our rewards. Head to headquarters. So that should have unlocked free roam on here. Yep. Free roam is unlocked. We can travel the map, find whatever we want to do, resources, stuff like that. Brilliant. So if I want to do some practicing now, I'm curious to see... If we click on this now. Hmm. So we can't just we can't just go on the map. So I'm assuming this is very strange. What about Carpathians? No. Still nothing. Oh hang on. Prologue there. So we can go on to Carpathians. Let me just check on back on Arizona. Was there one I missed? There might be one somewhere. Let's have a look on Sonoran. Just looking for one that's got the sort of lock thing unlocked. There's not on there. Doesn't seem to be on there. Oh, that's interesting. So, looks like Carpathian will be the one to go for because that is showing as okay. 
We dropped some equipment, important equipment nearby, never mind what dropped means. Just a small logistical miscalculation. It should take you all 20 minutes if you hustle. Okay, so potentially we could start on there, but that will be maybe the next episode. Um, I don't know whether or not I might do... I think, yeah, next episode we'll jump onto Carpathians, we'll have a look at the map. Because I'm curious to see what we start with. Whether we start with the drone and all the stuff already but just needs upgrading, or we start with nothing and we've got to build up. Like I said, Little Colorado is, I mean, at the end of the day, it's the test map, it's the training map, it's, you know, and there's a lot more of that to unlock, a lot more of that to go around. And if there's little side missions and side hustles, we can earn a bit of extra money. So maybe going around and doing a lot more of that might be advantageous before moving on to the other maps to give us a bit of money in our pocket to move forward potentially um but that's it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed it we've got that sort of unlocked into free range free roam um if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do as always thanks for watching <laughs>